an even more wonderful grassroots festival, Bubba George String Band. Thank you.
everybody doing today? Nice to see you once again, of course. And, uh, and those of you that have come for the first time, enjoy grassroots. Thank you. 
that keeps me from saying bad things on stage. Um, the editor kind of overslept today, stayed home, so I thought I better move the microphone before I said something <laughs> that I'm per too old to remember to regret.
Thank you. First time we ever played music on the street, we made enough money to buy a pizza to eat. Trumansburg at the youth center. Remember that guy came over? We were we were playing music at Kostrup's uh, just for the hell of it, I think. And this guy that was running the youth center maybe came over and paid us 50 bucks in advance to come and play the next night. Yeah. We were making 10 bucks at Kostrup's. So yeah, that's right. We were making 10 bucks there. So the 50 bucks was like more than $10 each. Which was... Pretty awesome. We could get like each of us could get a pizza of our own choice of, with separate toppings. Which <laughs> is pretty awesome. But I think we ended up getting all sausage and mushroom anyway. Basically. Well, there's no other choice. That's really not. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Maybe we should put a different wire on that sucker. It's the connection. It's like the fan. It's not like getting shocked though. Like this morning, we we set up an outdoor kitchen at my house, which is really cool to have. But you don't want to step in the dishwater when you're going to get your toast out of the toaster. I can tell you that. I was worried that I might have some kind of bugs on my body, but I'm sure I killed all of them in that one instant. Stepping into the bucket of water and grabbing the toast out of the toaster. Boom. You used to have to go up to Willard to get that kind of treatment. That's true, but and it, you had to pay then. These days, the government will do it to you for free, which is awesome. I love Obamacare. Get my electric shock without even. The best shock I ever got on stage was barefoot on a wet stage outdoor at a, at a festival in Birmingham, Alabama. And I had an electric guitar and I was putting it on like this. And I put my hand across the strings and I went to adjust the microphone and something was terribly wrong. I made a connection between like Detroit and Chicago <laughs> on the electrical grid. Everything, you know, the whole East Coast sort of dimmed. <laughs> and I was standing there like this, <laughs> like literally, until the, the monitor guy came over, casually walked over, and unplugged my amp for me. But otherwise, I was just... <laughs> It was, it didn't hurt so much as how loud it was in my ears. It was incredibly loud. It's like a freight train coming up behind you. And I was calm for days after that. I was going to sue them because it was their fault, but I couldn't remember why I wanted to sue them. And they gave me this really nice pin that said, um, I thought it's, it said, I thought it said, Birmingham, what a colostomy. But I, I, I was nearsighted and I couldn't read exactly what it said, so I don't actually know what it said, but I thought that was a really interesting way to, to promote your city. <laughs> Birmingham, what a colostomy. I told you that microphone would come in handy.
so glad y'all are back. It's great to see you. I don't see my dear friend Patsy here yet. I don't know if she's coming this year or not. I haven't been able to reach her, but last year she was here. I remember we gave her the Golden Warrior Award for being here at all the grassroots festivals. I haven't heard from her yet this year. You might have to take it away from her if she doesn't show up.
This is a really nice opening crowd. Check it out. Super. This is one of my very favorite times of grassroots is this first set with all y'all that come every year and hang out. Great to see you again. I'm so glad you're back. We're so glad you're back. Smiling faces. Got some modern sunglasses on, I see. That's nice. For all you new people, good luck. Woo oh, you'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. Hey. Yeah.
thank you.
started the set, the uh, my feet were in the shade. They were no longer in the shade. They're burning up. I was wondering though, like maybe five thousand years ago, if we were up here playing like this, would we have even come up with the idea that possibly the Earth might have been round because of that? Not me. Me neither. <laughs> Jordan would have. He would have been like, the earth is round. We would have been like, yeah, right. Yeah. Let's you play another One more your wild idea. Yeah. <laughs> when you go over the edge of the ocean, yeah. we'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah man, man, you're, you're right. See. that we were not that smart. It's just that life was so short back then. We couldn't actually have time to figure things out. Right. You'd be lucky if you figured out what you wanted for breakfast by the time you got killed back in the day. <laughs> everybody, every, everybody concentrates on, oh, you should eat this, you should eat that, don't eat this, don't eat that. Back then, you just, if you found something to eat, you ate it. That's right. That's where that saying, the early bird gets the worm, came from. You know? But now that we're smarter and, you know, we've evolved a little bit, it's like, hey, wait a minute. The early bird gets the early worm. I think I'm going to sleep in and get that late worm. Or maybe if I sleep in, maybe I am the, the worm. Maybe I should sleep in to avoid that early bird. What do you think? I lost track. <laughs> Are you the early bird or the early worm is what I'm asking you, Jeb. Yeah. I feel like a kid in class. Is, uh, what he think? never could pay attention when we get to the serious stuff like this. to go to an elementary school where we could do every every year that you went to the elementary school you could cover three years of school okay so in those in those five years that we actually went to school we did 15 years of school and so we graduated really early no one really understands that about us if they all think we dropped out but the fact is is we actually graduated high school at the age of 10 and then, you know, went on from there to do what we're doing. Certainly exhibiting a higher form of math, for sure. That's right. And we've learned to pay attention. <laughs> 